All right, like I said, we're going to try again, try to make our way to Master Ball rank. We are right there at the cusp. At the cusp. The last battle, unfortunately, did not go the way that we would hoped. But we put up a fight. <clears throat> Looking at my opponent's team. Um, I think Amoongus would actually be pretty good. I um, also think Garchomp looks pretty good. But I'll need to be very sparing with when I bring it in. Uh, Corviknight. Always good, always good. And Ting Lu. Um, I like the idea of bringing Ting Lu here. Redirect with Amoongus. Get some good damage early on with Ting Lu. Um, Corviknight's biggest threat is actually Shi Yu. But if I can take care of Shi Yu, we'll be fine. Um, biggest threat for our own Shiyu is actually Palafin. But I think... I think our Shiyu would actually be pretty beneficial bringing. Um, I'm kind of in between that and Garchomp. But I've already got a ground type, so I think bringing this thing would probably be a little bit better. And I believe that is where I want to go. <coughs> like I said in the last battle, guys, my throat has been hoarse. So, sorry if my voice sounds kind of off might be something that i notice that no one else notices but it's something that i do notice so let's see how well we do with this battle see how well things go let's hopefully get our way to master ball rank palafin and dragonite early on as we go into our tinglu and amoongus so early on what i want to do is go rage powder Get all the attention onto me. And throw a Ruination at Dragonite. That thing has enough natural bulk that I think it would be very helpful to early on do some work against it. Alright, what type are you becoming now, Dragonite? Pure flying, okay. Unfortunately, I don't have anything super effective against flying on this team. But, um... Yeah. Oh, well, that's going... I think I lose Amoongus early on. Yeah. It's pretty nasty. Um, and that's my best Palafin check. With that gone, that's not good. Um, I think I like to go Corviknight here. <coughs> I might go ahead and set up the Tailwind. Yeah, we'll set up Tailwind early on. And throw a Fissure, maybe? At the Flutter main slot. No, I'm just going to heavy slam Flutter main slot. We should take that. We've got good bulk. Oh. Trading Tailwind now. Alright, that's fine by me. Alright, good. Alright, let's go ahead and start bulking up. Just throw a heavy slam at Fluttermane. It's the fastest mon on the field. And I just there's no way I can do anything. But as long as I keep up the offense, maybe I'll be in a better position. We're gonna get hit with a nasty outrage. Can't do anything about that. But we do take it very well because we are so bulky naturally. Get a nice bulk up in. And the Shiyu comes out. Really my best 
bet here to become ghost type, maybe? Let me see what... The drawback to becoming ghost type. There is a drawback. And that's those last two mons in the back. Alright, let's go ahead with another bulk up. As I go with a uh, heat wave. Yeah, we're just going to go heat wave here. Alright, ah. Uh, unfortunate. Can't do anything about that. But we are able to finish those two mons with one heat wave. We get rid of Dragonite, at least. Um, and we do get rid of the uh, Flutter Main. Palafin will have Jet Punch, so no matter what we do, we lose our Shiyu. There's nothing we can do about that. But now the question becomes... Can we take hits from whatever that fourth Pokemon is? Because I think we're good against Palafin, maybe, with our uh, Corviknight. She, okay. I do have to become Ghost type on my uh, Corviknight. I do have to do that. I have to do that, and I will Brave Bird the Shiyu slot all I can do. Um, now I'm locked in a heat wave, unfortunately, but a jet punch is obvious. Jet punch is obvious. So the only way that I could possibly get this is I get rid of Shiyu right here. I live with enough health I could take a jet punch or whatever the Palafin wants to do against my Corviknight. And we miss. Oh, yeah. Thank you, game. Love missing very critical moves right there. That was terrible. All right. And that is the game. Wow, that miss. It, I did not realize one miss is going to... Um... Yeah, honestly, the miss didn't matter, did it? It was still unfortunate. We came in, we tried our best. We just didn't have much that we could do against these two. Because they're pretty threatening. We're going to try to grab another battle. Sit. Alright, we are back, ready for some more. Uh, unfortunately, we lost the last two battles we've had. So, we're still we're still not quite in Master Ball Ring. It's just unfortunate how, that's, how things have went. But, uh, I don't think Klefki gets Trick Room, so Corviknight looks pretty... Pretty decent. I like the idea of bringing Shiyu early on, maybe. Actually, Garchomp. Earthquake. If I can do that against Arcanine, I'll be good. Bring my own Ting Lu. Um, bring my Shiyu, maybe. Or bring my Flutter. Um, honestly, Flutter main looks better. There we go. Alright, hopefully we can at least get back on track for Master Ball rank. Hopefully that's what we can do here. All right. Fluttermain and Palafin. Okay. All right. Early on, Tailwind as I go for Protect with Garchomp. I think that's probably best first turn play right now. Best first turn play. Get my Tailwind going. Right, obviously, Palafin's going to get withdrawn. Arcanine comes out. Oh, Intimidate. You're going to Intimidate yourself. There you go, Arcanine. Alright, Protect. Fine with that. Actually, fine with that. All right. All right. So, I want a hard switch, but there's not really a good hard switch. So, I'm gonna actually click bulk up here. 
do have the speed advantage. And I do want to... Um, click Earthquake. Hmm. I think I do want to go ahead and Terrestalize. And then click Earthquake. Do want to do that, actually. Alright. There's the Palafin. Alright, I'm okay with that. I can play around that. That protects me from fairy type moves. Alright. Earthquake. Get some decent damage on both of these guys. Oh, yeah. Really good damage. Get our bulk up in. Arcanine has been intimidated, so I'm okay with that. What? What? Was this physical? Oh, Will O Wisp. Quite unnecessary. Quite unnecessary, my good sir. <coughs> Alright, we get our Lum. Our Lum Berry. Nice. I'm going to throw another bulk up because you two. These two Mons are physical attackers. And an Earthquake. It'll be good. Just stay on the offensive. Get rid of Arcanine. Arcanine's kind of a big problem for me. If it stays in and is able to spread around will o -Wisp. Don't want that to happen. You're going to change your typing into your water. Yeah, you're going to get water boost. Okay. I am at plus one. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm not totally against that happening right now. Alright. I need some good damage on that Palafin. Right here. All right. Get another bulk up in. Good, good, good. Attack boost. Defense boost. Wave crash into the Garchomp slot, probably. Yeah, I can't do anything about that. It's just terrible damage. Terrible damage. Um... Alright, um, let's go into Fluttermane here. I want to keep Team Lu as healthy as I can. Now, I think going for a Brave Bird or an Iron Head against Arcanine. Let's go ahead and bring this thing down into Dazzling Gleam range. Alright, we've got a Sash, so we always take one. Always take one. Alright, Dazzling Gleam. Arcanine will live that, but... Our Corviknight should be able to finish it off. Alright, here we go. Get rid of that thing. Boom! Nice! Alright, Arcanine is gone. So, our Corviknight is boosted up really nicely. Our Tailwind, unfortunately, has petered out. But, we can easily get that next turn. And ensure our Fluttermane gets to fire off what it needs to fire off. Our opponent's Fluttermane. Okay. Get a Tailwind going as I protect with my Fluttermane. That way I am insured at least one turn. Alright. This Tailwind is pretty important. Good. Good, 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 good. Alright. Go ahead, Spore. Honestly, your uh, Fluttermane's the bigger threat to me. 
And I don't think Amoongus can do much on its own. So, so I'm just going to Shadow Ball. And I do have the speed advantage because, you know, Tailwind. Tailwind is just so great at ensuring speed advantage. Alright, get rid of that thing. Get that thing out of my sight! Oh, and it's got a sash. Oh, okay. Okay, we've got a sash. Dazzling Gleam. Oh yeah, Corviknight takes that easily. Corviknight takes that easily. And what do you got? Pollen Puff. No! Alright. At least we weaken the special attack, but I'm going to click Brave Bird at the Flutter Main slot and Heavy Slam into the Flutter Main slot. That way, if our opponent goes Rage Powder, um, yeah. Ah. Uh. This turn did not go how I'd hoped. And we're going to have Team Lou fall asleep, aren't we? Yep. Alright, so my only hope, I feel, is getting rid of Amoongus, because it's going to put everything to sleep. Get rid of that, and then just continuously click Heavy Slam. The only thing uh, is Team Lou is out here, and it's good that Team Lou is out here. Because... Yeah, go ahead, Rage Powder, buddy. Shadow Ball. Please don't bring it into recoil range. It doesn't. Good. Boom. Alright, Moongus is gone now. Oh, you've got Rocky Helmet? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ting Lu, I need you to wake up. My only hope in this battle is if you wake up. That is my only hope, Ting Lu. Come on. If you wake up, you've got this. I think this is game. I think this is game. I don't see a way of coming back from this. Ting Lu, come on, buddy. Yes! All right. Heavy slam for the win. Yes! Oh my gosh, that was so close. That was so close. I thought Team Lu had lost it for us, but Team Lu was able to come back and give us an eek of a victory. Anyway, if you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next Pokemon video.